wants to pay back the millions he received from the embattled VBS Mutual Bank. The king was mentioned in the report that was commissioned by the South African Reserve Bank as having received 17 million rand. The report, as you know, has been dubbed the Great Bank Heist, and it continues to be the subject of uh, much media discussion. Meanwhile, President Ramaphosa has denied any knowledge about uh, the impending collapse of VBS uh, in 2017. A whistleblower reportedly met with the president, or at least claimed to do so, when he was still the deputy president of the country and claimed no action was taken. While our reporter Hitekani Magwedze is in Limpopo to give us uh, the latest details, uh, Hitekani is on uh, the phone with us. Hitekani, good evening. I mean, what's the latest uh, on the ground there? The king uh, making an admission that he's embarrassed by all that's emerged, but saying he could not have known, uh, you know, he lives... Uh, his life, uh, he's a, he has many benefactors saying he couldn't have known the source of these funds. Absolutely, Bongani. Good evening to you and to our viewers. Uh, well, let me start by saying we are in Chipisa, just a couple of kilometers away from Musina, where uh, King Tony uh, Mpepo is uh, here at the uh, uh, Forever Resort. Uh, we understand that he's meeting uh, his chiefs, but we have heard from his spokesperson saying that uh, the king wouldn't be able to talk to us or address us concerning that very statement that you uh, alluded to right now. Uh, but he has said that they are meeting, but their meeting isn't uh, uh, linked or discussing the uh, development around uh, VBS and concerns that people have raised around VBS linked to the king. Uh, he has also uh, uh, said that on behalf of the king, uh, answered a couple of uh, our questions. He says that, um, uh, you know, after going through the report, they have, uh, they, they can agree uh, and acknowledge that it looks like there was money stolen from the bank and that there was some kind of wrongdoing uh, uh, of uh, going on inside the bank. So there is that acknowledgement, but he has distanced himself from any uh, criminal activity. He says, uh, even in the statement, that uh, the the curator doesn't link him to any criminal activity. It just says that the money he received was uh, great, gratuitous. Um, but he has also said, as you alluded, that uh, he's willing to look into the funds that he received, and if the money that he did re that he received from uh, his subject, as he says, uh, was. Uh, benefits from illegal activities is willing to return that money. But it, it is not a guarantee that he's going to return that money uh, at all, uh, Bongani. But he also says that it's unfair that the statement, was, that the report was released without him give, being given the opportunity or the right of reply. He says, he says uh, Advocate uh, Terimutau didn't uh, interview him uh, 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 on allegations that are made uh, within the, 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 the report, Bongani. But it's an extraordinary admission, Hitakani, because we know, of course, a little earlier in the year when a lot of this information first surfaced, the king demanded uh, an apology, in fact, from some of the people behind VBS uh, Mutual Bank, uh, even offering him gifts of cattle in apology for dragging his name into the saga. And now that he claims to be embarrassed by what's been revealed, it's quite an admission, is it? Is it not? It is quite an admission, Bongani. I mean, um there, there were signs and there were allegations and rumors going around VBS and uh, people uh, benefiting, including himself. Uh, you know, the, these, these, uh, the linkage between himself and VBS and him unduly benefiting didn't really start now. Um, and for him to come out now and say he wasn't aware of what was going on because he's not an accountant and he's not a professional working within the bank is somewhat questionable uh, because there were uh, videos and, and uh, images of himself and, and his lavish lifestyle even earlier this year. So we cannot say that uh, he is uh, being totally honest in that he's only come to uh, being aware of this now. And uh, it, it just seems like it's uh, it's him trying to calm the 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 uh, uh, 
uh, the, the spirits of his uh, subjects. We have spoken to some of the, uh, the people who stay around here, and they are unhappy with the way the king has been dealing with this. Of course, you, you'd remember that at some point the king has been uh, uh, promoting had been uh, promoting VBS and encouraging uh, his subjects, at, as it were, to uh, to bank with VBS. So, and and that's one of one of the questions that we asked his spokesperson: that how does he feel considering that uh, this report has come out now? And he had been, uh, uh, you know, in a way marketing the bank. And he says that he's disappointed. Uh, he says he's worried about uh, what has been going on. Um, and, uh, of course, as I said, he says he'll be looking into uh, the allegations. And if, if it is that he benefited from that, he will give back the money. All right, we'll leave it there. Hitakani Makwedze of course, I mean, we know that the king uh, is alleged to have received uh, helicopters, luxury vehicles, beachfront properties. It raises all kinds of questions about how uh, traditional leaders and various royal houses are funded by unknown benefactors whose sources of uh, money cannot be verified. And of course, uh, kings cannot be removed, certainly not through the ballot box. We'll leave it there.